Hello, Sagittarius. How are you doing? Let's take a look and see what's going on in love at this time. Or what are the messages for my Saggy? Saggy, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising signs. All right. What's going on with Sagittarius at this time? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius? I'll let you come out. Okay. So Sagittarius, if you are interested in the extended, the link is below. If this resonates with you, like, share, and subscribe. What's the vibes here? All right. A lot of curiosity. Ooh. Someone here is very curious. Um, so there's a strong curiosity energy in terms of um, balance, okay, basically. Um, someone here is trying to find some sort of balance. Someone here is trying to figure out um, what's fair, what's not fair. Um, someone here is looking back and still trying to figure a situation out. Um, I do feel like possibly something ended for you here, Sagittarius, or something um, came to an end at some point, or you started noticing that something needed uh, some sort of balance or structure, right? It could have been a job or um, even a relationship with anybody, a family friend or um, or even uh, a relationship, a romantic relationship, I should say. But I feel like there's a lot of curiosity here. I feel like you're learning a lot about relationships that are um, not giving not giving balance basically all right you could be connecting with the libra with the justice energy here for some of you and i just get a lot of um stability here and i feel like the stability is coming from you because i feel like you're now viewing things for what they are and i feel like you're trying to work on this okay um I feel like you're trying to work on this. I feel like you're also learning how to communicate. You're also learning how to show up in this relationship. Um, the reason why I feel like this is something that's still heavy in your energy, Sagittarius, is because I feel like... I feel like both of you, you and your partner are growing from this. Whatever this is here, there is a very nice foundation that you two have. But there's an energy of we need to learn more about um, what fairness means and what equal give and take means essentially here. With the Page of Swords, I do get a lot of thinking going on. So you may be at a place where you may be a bit isolated or you're a bit pulled back. For some that are watching that are not in a relationship, this is you just viewing like you know, what's fair in my life? What's fair and what's not fair? Like, let me be honest with myself and really, um, you know, jot down the things that I don't feel like is, is fair in my life, that I don't feel like is balanced, right? When it comes to my efforts being reciprocated or someone even understanding where I'm coming from. Some of you actually want to change your living situation as well. It's like, I don't feel like um, this is bringing growth to me. And it, again, this could be a relationship that you're in or people that are around you. Um, you're just stepping back a little bit and reassessing the situation for what it is, okay? Um, now, I feel like for a lot of you, there's this big epiphany that's happening um, within your relationships as well um, and again take it how it resonates it doesn't have to only be romantic but I just see you viewing yourself as like I've been good I've been open I've been um, you know dating with intentions or showing up with my intentions very clear where is this imbalance coming from so I feel like you're doing a lot of meditation you're doing a lot of research you're really trying to find growth and I love this energy because um, I feel like you know there's there's no pain with there's no growth without pain okay from what I'm getting here all right so we do have page of wands ace of swords all right so a lot of you could be taking a leap into a new direction here um it could be communicating finding better forms of communication when it comes to you and your partner i do feel like for a lot of you here there's going to be a lot of passion coming in the next two weeks here two to three weeks there's going to be a lot of passion there's going to be a lot of communication and i feel like you're actually taking a risk here Sagittarius you're jumping into this energy of you know let's start something new let's just go for it let's do it and whatever that may mean to you whether you're jumping on a plane or you know jumping in your car and just going for it or accepting an offer that's being presented to you as you could see all right so for a lot of you you could be getting a new job offer or you could be getting communication that you've been waiting for but spirit is saying take it slow 
okay because i do feel like someone here uh could be jumping into something a bit too fast because we're in mercury in retrograde you do want to um reassess evaluate read over things look over things you don't want to jump into things too quickly but i just feel like you're you're in your power though sagittarius after a moment of i'm isolating myself and i'm really trying to balance my emotions i feel like there's like this energy that comes over you where you're ready to just take off here okay some of you could be also meeting new people or you're surrounding yourself around you know like more adventures and more events here it's like it's just an energy of i'm ready to work i'm ready to work here um now expect some sort of communication coming in heavy communication i do feel like this communication comes in for some of you it could be you know i'm trying to keep this pg it could just be a lot of sexual energy to be honest sagittarius someone here could be really attracted to you and it's like they just they gravitate towards you, to be honest, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles, right? You know, I'm going to confirm this. Like, if you haven't spoken to somebody and you're waiting for somebody here to show up, all right, could be a Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone here that has a lot of emotions for you is wanting to present something to you or wanting to give you an offer. So some of you may find yourself in a relationship. Yeah may find yourself in a in a loving relationship um honestly but before that happens there is this like i have to reassess things here like i need to balance my standards out i need to balance out some of my boundaries i will say for some of you you may be leaving a, a particular person behind and moving into like a whole new chapter in your life here and that's when you may meet someone new all right for others of you this could just be a past person um, that you may be having a conversation with and saying hey like let's talk about this relationship let's talk about us let's talk about you know um, where this is going all right where things are taking off to here okay someone here is also questioning someone's like intentions okay we have the ten of cups here someone here it's like Sagittarius are you guys getting into a relationship <laughs> Someone here, it's like they're going to try very hard to be very intentional about you, Saggy. It's like I want I want to grow with you. Like I want to have a relationship with you here. So some of you may actually run into someone here that, you know, another soulmate or soulmate here that offers you long term. All right. Anything else for my Sagittarius that Saggies need to know during this time? Especially after this. Ooh, look at this. All of this, like, all of these relationship energies. Some of you could be connecting with a Taurus here or actually connecting with someone here that actually wants to talk to you about marriage. Some of you may actually try to seek guidance from friends or family or um, someone that you truly respect here in order to help you through this, in order to help you actually bring in this relationship in a more balanced way. Because I feel like you've learned so much in your past here. You've learned so much about what it looks like to not have someone that's consistent, to not have somebody that understands where you're coming from. And now I see you taking a leap possibly out of like the darkness or out of things that don't make sense and moving into a more um more open space moving into a place that has more communication is what i'm seeing and a lot of you like i said expect some sort of either engagement or a more long-term commitment coming in for a lot of you here this could be someone that um you know we do have books here this could be someone that does a lot of research or this could be somebody that's very intelligent to some degree um it could be somebody that's like a mentor but this this is an energy of let's learn how to make things work let's work together okay so i don't get vibes of like a um a unbalanced connection coming in for you i feel like things are becoming more balanced but i feel like you've learned so much sagittarius you really have and i feel like this is your time to shine more uh, more so okay so in the extended we'll take a deeper look at this relationship where things are going um how um spirit wants you to move we'll get some advice as well okay i love you sagittarius have a amazing one and of course again if this uh resonates with you be sure to like and subscribe sagittarius i love you you because i do care about you i do have strong feelings for you i do miss you and i'm re i'm ready to work on things with you here okay and i feel like sagittarius this is going to bring um a lot of clarity for you because i feel like for some of you you didn't expect this person to say all the all these things 